The five former police officers charged in Tyree Nichols' death all appeared in court today. WGN Shannon Halligan is joining us now with the very latest on this case. Shannon. Yeah, the, uh, the judge in the case asked for patience and civility, saying that this ca case could take some time. Family members of Tyree Nichols said that they will be there for every step of the process to ensure justice is served. To make sure that justice gets done for our son. This is a glorious day. This is the beginning of the process. For the first time, the five former Memphis police officers charged in Tyree Nichols' death faced a judge. To Darius Bean, Demetrius Haley, Desmond Mills Jr., Emmett Martin III, and Justin Smith all pleaded not guilty. The officers were fired after an internal police investigation into the January 7th arrest. I am on the ground. Oh, God, you police body-worn camera from that night showed several officers brutally beating the 29-year-old. Nichols died just days later. Following the court hearing, attorneys for the former officers said the legal process needs to be based on facts and not emotions. Much has been said about the ways that the system has failed Mr. Nichols. I will work tirelessly to make sure that the system does not fail Mr. Mills and that a fair outcome is achieved. That particular night, you look at an isolated incident and try to measure the person. Police said Nichols had been suspected of reckless driving. However, there hasn't been any evidence revealed of a traffic violation. The case is the latest to prompt nationwide protests about police brutality. We know, like in George Floyd's case and Ahmaud Arbery's case, that there may be federal charges bought here. And so we want there to be full justice. Nichols' mother vowed to be there for every step of the process. They didn't even have the courage mm. to look at me in my face mm. after what they did to my son. So they're going to see me at every court date, <laughs> everyone, um, until we get justice for my son. All of the former officers are out on bond. Their next hearing has been scheduled for May 1st. Okay, Shannon Halligan, thank you.